Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with just corn soup. That's right, I know it doesn't look like much, but that's only because it's not much. As the recipe name would indicate, it's basically just corn. But with this lax in ingredients, it more than makes up for it by being probably the greatest hot summer soup ever. And since there's hardly anything to it, it's very simple to make. So let's go ahead and get started. And for our first step here, we're gonna have to remove the corn from some cobs. Three to be exact. And the last time I showed this, I got in trouble because I did it this way, which is how a lot of cooks do it because we have sharp knives, not to mention mad skills. But it really is not that safe and you can easily cut yourself. So let me show you a better, probably safer method. If we place a ramekin upside down in the bottom of the bowl like this, we can actually use that to rest the bottom of the ear of corn on, and then we can simply go around cutting straight down like this. So while not as dangerous and exciting as the other method, it does work very well and your chances of getting cut are less. And don't forget when you finish, you wanna scrape that cob with the back of the knife so we get all that beautiful starchy milky corn liquid, whatever that's called, corn milk? Let's go with corn milk, that sounds about right. But anyway, I'm gonna continue on slicing the corn off three cobs. And again, like I said, when you're done with a cob, make sure you take the back of a knife and sort of hold it in an angle as you scrape down and all that beautiful what we're calling corn milk will go into the bowl. And then once that's set, what I like to do is kind of break it up with my hand. I'm not exactly sure why, but it does feel good. Plus, if you've missed any of those corn silks, they usually stick to your hand or the edge of the bowl. So we'll give that a quick check to make sure there's nothing in there besides kernels of corn. At which point we're gonna divide this up. I'm gonna go ahead and add half to my saucepan, and I'm gonna put the other half in a blender. Oops, a couple kernels tried to escape. Don't worry, those won't get far. And then to the corn in the blender, we're also gonna add some nice fresh cold water, at which point we will take that over and puree it very, very, very fine. In fact, I'm using the setting called Liquify. So we'll go ahead and blend that on whatever your high setting is for a minute or two until it's completely smooth, at which point we can pour that right back into our saucepan containing the whole corn. And then once that's set, we'll head over to the stove and we will place that down on medium high heat and bring that up to a simmer. And of course we will do final seasoning at the end, but I know I'm gonna need some salt, so I'll add some here, as well as a shake of cayenne, just to stay in shape. And we will stir that in. And like I said, we're gonna bring this up to a simmer on medium high. And then once that happens, what we'll do is we'll give it a stir and we will back our heat down to medium low. And we will let this cook for about 30 minutes or so. And what's gonna happen during that time, it's gonna go from something that looks sort of milky and creamy to something kind of watery and grainy and separated looking. All right, definitely not a super appetizing appearance. But don't worry, we have one more step, which is the last step, which is gonna make everything better. And by better, I mean butter. Because what we're gonna do is reduce our heat down to the lowest setting and toss in two tablespoons of cold unsalted butter. And then what we're gonna do is emulsify this in by using our stick blender. But I'm not gonna puree this all the way smooth. I'm just gonna pulse on and off, on and off, and then just maybe let it run for a few seconds until two things happen. Our butter emulsifies in beautifully and the soup turns into something that looks nice and creamy again. So this right here is perfect for me. And by the way, in case you're wondering, and you really should be, why we blended some of the corn at the beginning if we were gonna blend it at the end anyway? Well, that is a good question and one I will answer in excruciating detail on the blog post. But anyway, we will blend that to our desired texture. And other than checking the seasoning here, we're pretty much done. So we'll go ahead and grab a spoon and give this a taste. And while magnificent, I decide mine need a little touch of salt, as well as another pinch of cayenne. And that's it, as soon as we're happy with how this tastes, our just corn soup is done. So let's go ahead and serve that up into some hot bowls or cups. And in keeping with that just corn soup theme, we'll garnish this with nothing. Just a little more soup. In fact, the only thing we need here to accessorize this would be a spoon. And that, my friends, while incredibly simple and primitive, is just extraordinarily delicious. I mean, have you ever been eating corn on the cob and thought to yourself, this is amazing, but I wish it wasn't on a cob and I didn't have to chew it. That is pretty much what we have right here. I mean, people love to throw out that term, less is more, which is almost never true. Would you rather find a $100 bill or a $10 bill? There's just one example. But when it comes to a soup like this, totally accurate. Less is actually more. But of course, having said that, some of you may be thinking to yourselves, hey, I'm the Jason Bourne of my liquid corn. What if, for the sake of argument, I wanted to add a little bit of creme fraiche to the top, along with possibly some crumbled bacon, as well as some green onions, and maybe just maybe a little shake of cayenne? That would be delicious also, yes? Yes, yes it would. 
So while I do hope you make and taste this in its pure form, please, as usual, feel free to trick this out any way you see fit. But either way, whether you're going to enjoy this as is, or top with your favorite fixins, I really do hope you give it a try soon. So head over to foodwishes.com for all the ingredient amounts and more info as usual. And as always, enjoy. Enjoy.